Recently I've had requests from people um, who want to know how to do deliverance. How to um, speak to demonic spirits within people and cast them out. Uh, firstly, I want you to know this. You need to understand who you are. You need to understand that you have been given authority over all the power of the enemy. All of it. That doesn't mean over all the power of one demon. That means over all the power of all the demons combined, including Satan himself. You have more authority. So you use that authority through Jesus. Um, you shouldn't be afraid of demons. They should be afraid of you. And so if a person is for sure, um, oppressed by a demon, and I want you to know this too, is uh, a Christian can't be possessed by a demon, but they certainly can be oppressed by a demon. The difference is this, is um, within the spirit of man, the Holy Spirit dwells if he's saved. If he is not saved, the Holy Spirit's not there, and the devil can move right in and take full authority. But in the spirit of a born again person, uh, that demon can enter. However, they can affect the body. They can affect the mind if we allow them. The Bible says give no place to the devil and that's spoken to Christians which tells us Christians could possibly give a place to the devil. You've given him permission or you have uh, let his, uh, um, his uh, occupancy be uncontested. So if that's the case we want to address that. And the way you talk to demons is very simple. You talk to them with an understanding that they have to obey you. They don't have a choice. A lot of deliverance ministries, um, they go through a lot of gyrations that aren't necessary most of the time. Okay? So, I want you to know that so many things that do happen to us in ministry occur because of the way we believe. For example, if you believe the devil won't go out unless you sprinkle holy water or anointing oil, well then guess what? That probably will be your experience because according to your faith, so be it unto you. If you believe that if you talk to a devil and tell him to come out, he's going to have a long drawn out argument with you and say, I'm not leaving, that's, that's probably going to be your experience because according to your faith, so be it unto you. You need to get to the point to where you say, you know what? Uh, I can do it like Jesus did it and I can do it like Paul did it, which is I tell them what to do, they go. No fuss. If you think you're going to have a long, drawn-out session with casting demons out, and there's going to be foaming at the mouth, and, and you're going to be fighting over and over and working up a big sweat, then you will. And when you do work up that big sweat, you're going to say, See, I was right. So many of those things occur because that's how we are believing. And you get what you believe. So if you believe that the devil has to hear you, has to listen to you, has to obey you, has to leave when you tell him, then guess what? He will. What you do is you uh, try to discern what the problem is in the person. Uh, you know, if they have addiction, you just call it what it is, spirit of addiction. If they have depression, spirit of depression. Spirit of lust, spirit of anger, whatever it is, call it what it is. It doesn't need a formal name. You don't need to call it Bob or Lucifer. You just need to tell it that thing, that entity, that you are identifying what it is and you're telling it to go. And so you speak to it and you say, right now, speak to it like you're speaking to a disobedient dog, I always say. Say, right now, Satan, I bind your powers in the name of Jesus. And I sever your hold on this person at the root. I sever it right now in the name of Jesus. Satan, I command you to let them go now. And I command you to get out right now. And, uh, you know, you can add a flourish. You can say, go back to the pit from whence you came. Whatever you want. But command it to go firmly. Don't be afraid. And insist. And, uh, you know what? They go. Now, have I ever had a time where I've had to do that a couple times? Yes. But you know what? Be patient and uh, don't work up a sweat about it. Realize, hey, you know, if this thing's going to try to hide, and gonna try to, you know, duck under the bed for a little while, um, I'm not letting go, it's gonna leave. It's going to leave and tell it to go. Use the authority of Jesus' name, command it what to do, expect it to do it, 
And then uh, ask the person you're praying over, if you're praying over another person, it's not yourself, ask them, what are you feeling? A lot of times what they're feeling will identify to you if the problem's been fully solved. Now I did have one situation that the Holy Spirit had to lead me in one time. There was a woman who uh, was normal for a long period of time and suddenly she was just out of her mind. And I went and visited her in a mental ward with steel doors. And I got in there and I said, Renee, um, I don't know what happened to you, but I want to pray for you. She said, okay, you can pray for me. So I said, in the name of Jesus, you demonic spirits, I bind you right now and I command you to come out. And I watched her face, I watched the expression, and you know what, I didn't see any expression, I didn't see any difference, I couldn't tell if anything had happened. So I felt like, well, am I done or am I not done? I'm not really certain. Well, the Lord gave me a scripture instantly at that moment, which helped me out. He reminded me of the man uh, of the Gadarenes that was amongst the tombs who was insane. And uh, that man had many demons in him. The demons called themselves legion, for we are many, they said. But what Jesus said to that man, he said, what is your name? And the demons had to respond. They couldn't hide, they had to respond. They said, our name is legion, for we are many. So what I said to this woman, Renee, I said, I said, I'm speaking to you, you evil spirits, what is your name? And uh, approximately seven names came out, and they weren't names like Bob or Sue, they were names like uh, lust, murder, things like that. And as each one named itself, I cast it out, and that broke the curse over her, so to speak. So, if you aren't sure, you can command the thing to identify itself. and. Uh, you have the power to cast it out, so don't be afraid. And uh, just believe God and believe that by His Spirit you've been given authority to do these things in Jesus' name.